Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany Benson, one part of Team Benson, and today we are doing microgreens. Going over microgreens, everything you need to know about microgreens, and why you should be growing microgreens. So why would you grow microgreens? Well, when your garden is too hot or too cold and you still wanna have some of those brassicas in your body and green leafy vegetables, microgreens are the best way to go. So all you have to do is, you can grow them indoors, you can grow them outdoors, you can grow them however you want. Um, I choose to grow my microgreens indoors because I have enough going on in my garden that I want to save space for. And these are so simple just to grow indoors. And they provide my family with that green leafiness and all of the nutrition that come with green leafy vegetables by just growing them like this. And all I can do is just snip them once they get to a certain height and then that I can use as a topping for different soups. I can use it in salads. I can use it for sushi, which is one of our favorite ways to use it. Um, eggs in the morning, that way you can get some green leafy vegetables into your body while you're eating eggs. And anything you really want to do with them <laughs> but they're nice to have because like I said they allow you to still have all of those good nutritions from green leafy vegetables without having to have them in your garden and trying to take care of them and worrying about them bolting or anything like that these are gonna grow in about five days and we're gonna be able to use them and we're just gonna keep rotating in a new set of microgreens a new set of microgreens and a new set of microgreens and these ones I planted about a week ago and now I'm gonna plant with you guys another one. So let's get to how I go about planting these now that we have the why, and then I can show you guys and then you guys can do it for yourselves. Okay, so I put a little upside down planter here so that you guys can see. <laughs> so first and foremost, you guys really don't need to have a container with holes in it. You can, which will give you drainage, but I mean, as long as you're not over watering, you're really not gonna have an issue with your microgreens and watering them because you're gonna use them really before you need to water them again. Especially if you grow them in one of these like little jiffy pots that has the uh, lid that goes on top of it. This is gonna provide enough moisture to keep it in, keep the soil moist to where then you don't have to go through and water again. And it'll give enough room to where you'll have some decent sized microgreens once um, you get ready to start using them. So my little thing that I use for my pea pellets, it, it has a double use for it. And if you guys are looking for any of these things like this, I put a list down below in the description on Amazon and it'll show you where you can get all of the different things at. So first I'm gonna go just with some seed starting mix. Now I'm not gonna use garden soil, I'm not gonna use um, any type of compost or anything like that. I'm just gonna use some seed starting mix because I want all of these little things to be able to pop up and I also don't wanna have to worry about watering them. Like I said, once I get this going, I'm gonna pop this lid on it and then I'm gonna forget about it for a whole week until it's time to use them. So we're just going to pour some in here. I'm gonna attempt to do this, guys, without making a mess, especially because I'm doing it on the inside of my house. And little known fact, we have white carpet. <laughs> so if you have any sticks or anything like that, make sure you pull those out. The seed starting mix does have a little bit of sticks in it. So we're just going to get a little bit more out. And so I have it like that. And then I'm just going to add some water. And I'm just adding, adding bottled water. Now one of the things that I do when it comes to um, watering my indoor plants, in Arizona we have such harsh water. And we have a water softener here, but we don't have an osmosis system here. So I always use some type of filtered water, whether it's coming from um, our like home little water filter thing out of our fridge, or if it's coming out of a uh, bottle. Usually what I do is I have just like a bottle like this that is dedicated to water in the garden, the indoor garden, and I just grab the water out of the fridge. So let me grab a spoon real quick. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this spoon and I'm gonna kind of mix in the water and I want it to be kind of like a brownie mix. So not where it's like completely 
like saturated, but I do, like I don't want it to be sopping wet, but I do want it to be kind of wet, but kind of crumbly. So it needs more water. Now the nice part about putting microgreens together is that you don't need a bunch of soil. So if, if you're trying to grow a garden, like say you have a patio garden or you live in an apartment complex or something like that, you can grow microgreens in your kitchen windowsill, you can do it under grow lights in your, you know, it just in like a room in your house or on a shelf, or you can just put it like a little pot on your patio. Um, so that way you don't have to have a, a bunch of soil, you can grow a lot of microgreens in a small space and you don't need to worry about water dripping down if you live on like the second story or something like that in an apartment complex. So that makes it really nice and a lot easier to be able to have something that you can grow and you are providing some nutrients for yourself without it basically taking over your patio or your life. <laughs> so I'm gonna add a little bit more soil because this kind of gets soaked up by the water. And I can see the bottom of the tray, so I want to make sure I have enough soil. The nice part about this too, guys, is that once your microgreens grow, you can just reuse the same soil. So this isn't going to be like a cut and come again type thing. Once it grows out that couple of inches and you cut it, that's done. So then you just kind of get the little bit of the stem that you have left and then just replant yourself some more uh, microgreens in there. So you can add just a little bit of water if it needs it. Um, if not, then just replant some more seeds and you'll be fine. So what I'm gonna do is, you see it's starting to get like this to where it is almost just about right. And it, like I said, I don't want it sopping wet, so I don't wanna be able to see the liquid, but I do want it to be kind of crumbly, just like that. I just flung mud on my dining room table. Okay. Next time I'm gonna do this in a bowl and then just spoon it in here because of the little holes, no, the little peat pot holders in the bottom is kind of making it a little bit difficult. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more soil and then get this ready. Okay guys, so I actually took this outside to mix it because we have white carpet and having mud on my white carpet is not what I want in my life. So what I did is I got it to this point to where it's kind of like, kind of like brownie mix is what it looks like. And then I took a spoonful of it out and I'll show you guys what that, I'm gonna be using that for. Now the nice part about microgreens is that you don't have to worry about spacing, you don't have to worry about anything, you just basically sprinkle it over the soil and try and get it pretty well covered because you want to grow like a thick patch of microgreens. So all we're going to do is we're going to take this and I'm just going to sprinkle it down. Now if you guys watch my Dollar Tree haul video, these are the microgreens that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I am still on the same um, open pack. So I started with these ones and then now I'm doing the second round. And then as you guys can hear, I still have a decent amount in here. Probably about another like, probably like another like 200 seeds. So this little pack for a dollar came with a lot of seeds in it. I actually went back and got a couple because I wanna be growing microgreens all throughout the summer. So now that I have all the seeds in there, you guys probably can't see it because it's black seeds on black soil, but there's a nice little even amount, a number of seeds in there. I'm just gonna pack, push them down just a little, just so that if I do add water or anything like that in a couple of days, which I'm not really planning on doing, but if something happens, you never know. So I wanna make sure they're kinda all in place. And then that soil that I took out, I'm just going to sprinkle it over top. Now I don't want to, plant them really, really deep because I want the light to be able to get to them. So that's why I only took out like a little bit of a spoonful. So I'm just gonna take that and just sprinkle it over top. That way I can just lightly cover them. Put another stick in there. 
And then all I'm gonna do is add the lid on top of it and I'm gonna put this underneath a grow light on my shelf and it's gonna stay there for the next week until it looks like this. So that's a real simple way for you just to add some green leafy vegetables into your diet. And it's something that anybody can grow. So like I said, even if you guys are in an apartment and you don't even have a balcony, you can just pop open a windowsill and put this right into the windowsill. That little tray with the lid on it, my Jiffy one, fits perfectly in a windowsill. So when I have things going on in there, like for like my bigger vegetables, like my cucumbers and different things that I'm going to be planting, a little bit later on, I'm just gonna pop open the window and stick it in there. So then that way it can get sunlight and it can grow. So I hope that gives you guys some ideas on more things that you can do for your gardening and more, more things that you can do to be able to provide food for yourself. Because if there's anything 2020 thought taught us is that we need to be able to have our gardens growing and we need to buy toilet paper. Not in abundance though, because we don't want another shortage. <laughs> so I hope that helps guys. Until next time, grow yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food. Bye guys.